Alex Hansry here, November 20th, 2015. So what we're witnessing now is what Costilla County is doing to a 65-year-old man, a disabled veteran. He served in Vietnam. He's an interesting person. I'm glad to have had the opportunity to know him. There's not a doubt in my mind that this was done to cause pain. And not only myself, because of what I've done to expose Costilla County, perhaps there's some sense of resentment or anger towards me because the recent uh, visit from Channel 5 News in Pueblo, who I personally did not talk to, but they did see my footage and they were concerned. But this is only the beginning of the awareness of what is taking place in Costilla County. This is worse, in my opinion, than what they did to Chloe. Chloe is a is a young woman, relatively, and um, you know she has a long life ahead of her. Daryl, he came here to rest in his last days. I'm not kidding. And actually, complete his thoughts. He's an author of a book, and we were going to expand our Man on the Mountain series, uh, discussing Gnostic thought, which is something that some people aren't aware of, but it's outside the box of religion, Gnostic views, Gnostic thought. You know, there's a lot of Gnostic thought in the alternative media today, and I'm really happy to see the positive response that some of the, um, uh, from the viewers of this channel, uh, also conversations came up relating to history, archons, um, uh, again, spirituality, sacred geometry is another theme in this book. There's a lot of knowledge there. And this was a place that I uh, was intending to be throughout the winter in a cabin. Now, that cabin was built in 1999, and it was sold with the property that we're on right now. But because Costilla County has been watching my videos very closely and looking for incriminating things, and who knows how they found out where we were you know, I have a few suspicions. Daryl is public in the registry for owning this property. I had a feeling this would come. Uh, and so this is also a message Costilla County is sending to other people. If you harbor Alex Hansery and there's a way we can get you, we will get you. And they've actually said this verbally to several people. So there's intimidation taking place. I've never had a local police department have such an interest uh, in my YouTube channel. Until now, I've exposed torture by the government. Uh, and other things taking place. This has been about property rights and people having the right to live on the land that they paid for. And for that, I'm considered their enemy. Colleen Romero and Cruz Soto have been destroying lives and attacking the elderly by what they've been doing out here. Driving people from their land over some code, elderly people, and it's winter, and they're doing this. Look behind me. This is just the beginning of the snow. There's more snow coming next week. They're gonna send homeless people, create homeless people really, because you're not homeless when you're living on your own land. That RV is your home. And people live in their RVs all across this nation. But you know, when you keep someone on the move, you drain them of their income because they have to keep paying gasoline and living in public spaces. Why can't they live on their own land? This isn't about concern for the environment. This is sick, this is evil, and we cannot allow this to go on. Later on the day, I'm gonna compile uh, a list of uh, veterans organizations, perhaps a few other contacts, and what we need to do uh, by the end of the day or tomorrow is start contacting people, letting them know about the situation with Daryl. Chloe was one thing, and I let a few people know about that. And the story went semi-viral, but not as viral as it could. And it had no call to action, and it did not yield, you know, qualified legal support and other things. We can do better this time. We can make a stand. We can make a difference. And I, Alex Hansry, make this video asking you to get behind what we're doing. We need to bring a lot of national awareness to what Costilla County is doing to Daryl Carter. Thank you very much. I'm Alex Ansary for November 20th, 2015. We'll be back later in the day with more.